Right, so in this quick tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to install Kali Linux and VMware. Now, apart from Kali Linux, you can install just about anything, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, whatever you want, you will be a okay if you follow my tutorial. So let's get started. So obviously to install Kali Linux and VMware, we need VMware. So there will be a link in the description below. You need to click this link and then from here, what we can do is we can actually install it. Basically, you just need to scroll down and it says VMware Workstation Pro for PC. So if you click download now, it will redirect you to a login page. Page. Right, so as you can see, we go redirected to the login page. To register your own account, you just need to come here to login, and this is register, right? So just click register, register your own account, and you're ready to go. Now, once you actually register and log in, you might get redirected to this page, which is good if you actually do. So if not, then just come to my downloads. Now, from here, you might get asked for some basic information about you. Just put some gibberish. It might ask for like your address, your personal name, and stuff. Just put some random gibberish, and they're not going to do anything to you. Then they don't really care. So once you actually fill out on for information about you come to free software downloads available here but this is very important that you do, do click this button once you click this button you will get a lot of options now obviously if you want to use something apart from vmware workstation pro you can obviously use it but you, it might cost you money right so i'm not exactly sure if, if all of this is free i don't know right but what we're interested in is in this vmware workstation pro so click this button if you can't find it just type in i think it should be only one option yep so as you can see there's vmware workstation pro click this and there should be an option there so now choose for linux or windows i'm on windows so i'm going to choose windows and from here just choose the basically i would recommend something with the release level info because i'm not sure if this is stable and from here we just need to click basically https download which is this button here with a little down arrow from the cloud and this will begin the download for you now just save it on your desktop just for easy access and the cool thing about vmware basically this installation is that if you have any like if you have any other um, installations of vmware workstation it will uninstall it for you and this is the only one that's going to be installed right so in a second i'm going to show you how to install this the installation is very very simple even if i wouldn't show you this this is very very simple so what we need to do is just launch obviously the installer right and then it will give us a installation wizard so this is the installation wizard we just need to click next accept the agreement and then from here we just um i would say just leave this right next um, it's up to you if you want to leave these things on. Now, one here is I just recommend just turning this start menu programs folder just because it's annoying. I like to leave it on desktop though because it makes it so much simpler and faster. And click install. And this will obviously install the VMware for you. It should not take long. I think it, be, it should take like about three minutes to install. And then from as soon as it's installed, we can install Kali Linux or other virtual machine. It's up to you what you're installing. Right, so if you get a window with saying finish, that you installed. And on your desktop, you should get something like VMware Works Pro with this icon, right? So if you click it, if you have any other virtual machines with VMware, even if you had virtual machines from VMware Workstation Player, this will work because the files are absolutely the same. So if you actually have a virtual machine, you can just open a virtual machine from here and then you just need to select the actual folder. However, if you obviously don't, then that's fine. I'm going to take you through the installation here. But what we need to do is we need to download and basically OVA file. Now in the description below, there will be basically a link. You need to click this link and it will be called Kali.org. You will be redirected to this web page. Now from here, do not choose installer images because this takes too long. Only choose installer images if you're trying to install this basically Kali Linux as a main operating system, which we're not going to do. We're installing a virtual machine. So choose virtual machines. And from here, you need to choose basically VMware. Choose the first option. Don't choose anything else. Just choose the first option. And I will start downloading a file for you, which will basically be 3.3 gigs. Now for this to basically for this to work, you also need some kind of archive extractor. So zip extractor, anything like that, that allows you to extract a basically an archive because the, the download will be archived right so like winrar or bandy zip something like that as soon as the file download is finished what you'll get is you'll get basically a zipped file right so as you can see it's zipped so that's why i'm saying you need some kind of winrar or bandy zip to basically extract this file i think on windows 11 you might not need anything but i think it will allow you to extract files by default by basically without any any program so right click and this is extract files so extract files Right, I'm just going to extract it to my desktop. Okay, so as soon as the file is basically extracted, you should get a folder on your desktop, right? Or wherever you have extracted it to. So as you can see, there is basically Kali Linux and it is a folder now. If you basically click on it, you're going to get another folder. Now, if you want to, what you can do is you can extract it to your desktop and basically delete this folder, make sure it's empty. 
And then what you'll get is this is your actual root folder. So this folder is where the old files are, right? Now to basically the final, final step is just to launch VMware Workstation. And once it opens, you just need to open this virtual machine, right? So go to this file, go to the folder you just extracted, select the file, there should be only one. Right? So go to the folder and just click the file. And once you open the virtual machine, you are ready to go. I should say power on this virtual machine if you've done everything correctly. I do not recommend starting this virtual machine because you should change your settings. So I'm going to show you what you need to change. Memory, I would recommend at least minimum eight gigs, basically for performance. Um, I actually, on my main Kali, I have about 12 gigs, but it matters obviously how much you have on your host computer. So obviously I recommend eight, but it's, it's obviously how much you can do, right? And um, processors, don't really change anything here. Hard disk, 80 gigs for Kali, it should be fine. You're not playing games, you're penetration testing. Um, come to options. Now, one important feature here is I recommend changing to basically shared folders to disabled, for security purposes. Snapshots, snapshots are basically backups, so it's up to you if you want to implement them or not. And then from here, I would say that's it. And then once you finish, just make sure that you click OK, don't close it. You need to click OK to basically save it. Right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm extracting the file and the second you should see Kali Linux basically turn up. As you can see, I just loaded it up, right? So I'm going to just press power on and it should basically work. As you can see, it's loading. It should take a second to load up. And as you can see, we got a launch, so I'm just gonna press enter. Right, and as you can see, the virtual machine or Kali Linux has launched. Now the default passwords are basically, it's just Kali Kali, right? So if you basically put Kali Kali, and well, basically, as soon as it launches, right, give it a second to make sure everything is working properly, right? As you can see, it's actually working very, very smoothly, even with two gigs of RAM, and because I haven't changed anything. And as you can see, everything works, right? Very, very smoothly and very, very well, right? So that'll be it. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. I hope I, I, hope I guess helped you. Um, and that'll be it. Don't forget to check my hacking course, which will be in the description below. And peace. Thank you for watching.